The Computer Center for Visually Impaired People, CCVIP, at Baruch College presents What is it? A Demo Center event. Great. Welcome, welcome. Um, my name is Karen Gorgi. I'm the director of the Computer Center for Visually Impaired People. Try to keep it together. And I want to welcome you to our uh, Demo Center event of September 14, 2017. That has to do with Object Identification apps. And you'll learn a lot more about that um, in just a second or two. Excellent, excellent. I just wanted to know quickly, do we have any first-timer Demo Center attendees here today? Yes. Yes. Yay, let's welcome these guys. <laughs> Wonderful. And I want, I want to... Um, because we always forget to do this and it's disgusting. I want to <laughs> thank our uh, volunteers. Yes. Um, yay. 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 That is Svetlana and Lynn and Meyer. Let's hear it for those guys. All right. And we have our obviously our trusty staff here, which is Roberta and Lisa and Vern. And Vern, of course, who helped put, put made this whole event put it together, yes. and Mohammed also, oh, yeah. and yeah. as you probably, many of you will know, we are being videoed, so Mike, can you say hola? Hello, I'm Mike. <coughs> and he, he's hola. the magical filmer, so actually, if you do not want your face or whatever to appear, <laughs> perhaps you'd like to raise your hand. I won't know, but Mike will uh, know. <laughs> And so we don't want anybody to feel like, you know, these are these these presentations are always videoed, and they go up on our YouTube channel, um, you know, so that people we have hundreds of thousands of views on that channel, so people all around the world watch these things. I think that's pretty cool. mm -hmm. wow, pretty, very cool. who knew? So let's see. I think those are most of the things that we want to say. Or did I forget anything? <laughs> Good. Uh, She's silent. No, 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 I'm sorry, Nana. You've got everything and more. So. <laughs> and more. Yeah, and I, more I so. like the more part. Yeah. yeah. All right. We are going to now present. I'm going to present to you our two um, illustrious senior instructors here, who are very well known to many of you. I know that is Sir Professor Richard Fox, yes. and Madame Professor Lynette Tatum. And yeah. they are going to um, tag team, that's the verb I needed, um, to uh, show everybody um, these various fascinating uh, apps which they will define and tell you about. <laughs> okay, so I think without further ado, please help me welcome Lynn Tatum and Rick Fox. Thank you. <laughs> Hello there, everybody. Uh, the first app that I'm going to we will talk about today um, is something which was uh, introduced at the uh, blindness conferences this summer. It's um, uh, made by Microsoft. It is a they call it a research project, yeah. um, which means it's free. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and good. It's called Seeing AI, oh, right. yeah. Seeing yeah. Space AI. And it has a, seeing is S-E-E-I-N-G, it has a suite of features, um, including product identification through barcodes, um, short text reading, um, whole page document reading, uh, the ability to photograph an individual, um, and uh, the, the app will uh, estimate the person's age, which is good for cocktail parties. Uh, I'll tell you about that. <laughs> and, um, and then there is a beta, which is even more of a research project, called Scene Beta. And you can take a picture and the, the, the app will attempt to tell you what the picture is. And we're going to do that today. So uh, we're going to get started by showing the short text option of the Seeing AI app. And with, uh, with that, I will introduce, uh, I will present Lynette Tatum. Hey, folks. Yay. 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 
Lovely, my dears. All right, so I have a few things here. Um, first, I'm going to open the app. App switcher. Seeing AI. Hold on that one is. second. Seeing AI. Okay. Menu. Button. Question? Did you have a question? Oh, well, I'm supposed to have you hold the questions, right? <laughs> okay, so I'm holding my iPhone SE. I have a card. I don't know what's on the card. It's like a business card. And uh, I'm going to put it in front of the camera of my phone, and I'm going to make sure I'm on short text. Okay, now I have a little button in my hand. MBW training, training org. Am in training dot org. Am in training dot org. Something about training dot org. Am in training. Am in training. It's it's this. Sure. It's on a button. The rogue. P. Okay, so she wanted to read even when I didn't want her to read. Mm -hmm. So. Society, oh, hold it again. Eyes the Rogue. Sharon of Baroque S. S. Sharon. So, Sharon. S. Sharon. Sharon. Sounds e. like Howard. Sharon. Sharon. Voice Rock. Sounds Howard. like it's trying to say Sharon E. Howard or something. WVT. W -W -W and as you see, now it's working well. And and each time I move the um, Team in button. Lymphoma. Society. www.teamintraining.org. Teamintraining.org. <gasps> Thank you. <laughs> okay, so that's the button. Let's see if it will read. I M just dot had... net. Oh, hush now. <laughs> okay, I have a CD in my hand. Let's see if it will do anything with the CD. Maybe glare, but it, it read under my lamp, but it doesn't read it well, but it read something. Okay, well, it doesn't like it now. Okay, that's fine. Okay. All right. Now I have a card. We're going to try the card again. Okay. No, nope, it still doesn't like the... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Let's start to say so, something. So, Dibaglio, Maririos, Lynette. There's our card. <laughs> At least it read that. Now, I don't know if I can get it to read more. Rio G61, Maria D. Maria D. Oh. <laughs> Rios. Maria Rios, Lynette Tatum, oh. Melee, not Maria Rios. Oh, it's, it's going to start to read our, um, Madden. I'm just glad it read that much. <laughs> this is a business card, okay, for the music. So there you go. At least it read that. And I have a piece of paper here. I just happen to be able to Services read. Services for Visions. Promo Viento La Ind Pen D Los Personas Sigas Ocon Dot It sounds like it's in Spanish Visions <laughs> Services for the Blind and Visually Impaired They she just Promo said for the Blind Independencia D O Four Promo Via Viagen Services I'm gonna try Visi. to move it a little Visio. bit Move the camera Services for the Visio <laughs> Visic Services for the Blind and V Promo Viento La Ind D Los Person Icepin Visic O Now that's the U thing about the short text, if I may say, you do have to move your either the hand containing the uh, item mm -hmm. or the hand containing the phone, okay? Mm -hmm. So that you're, it, you know, so that it's trying to find it. Moviendo ta independencia, de las personas sigas o con, apodimentos visuales de todas las edades. There you go, I understood movienda or something. <laughs> vision, services for the block, CLC. Videos. Okay, I was hoping Lillian it would read Tatum. the... Vision. Oh, stop. It's, and it said vision. Now, now, of course, when I want it to be quiet, you know, of course, it's, it has a lot to say. So that is really, oh, I'm, I have the one more, one more thing, and I'm hoping it reads it. It's the little earbud holder or container, and it does have a name on it. So let's see. Come on, in our circles, in our circles. No, it doesn't. It doesn't like that print. It the from what I can gather with my glasses, it's kind Visions. of a, stop, 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 stop. zero and pigmentist. Thank you. It's a, whatever color zero, the zero. little case is. Science. It, it's o reading what, what it's looking at on the table. So now, what's in my hand? Yeah. I'm trying to get it to read. Comma B D five E. No. All right. Well, I will tell you. It is. Well, no, I didn't <laughs> want to tell you. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, we'll try it again. <laughs> if anybody would want to come up and see, but, you know, well, I'm going to tell you. It's a Bose thing. I was hoping it would say Bose. Because <laughs> Bose is written on the little case. Okay? So, that's how the short text works. I think with practice and, you know, figuring out the distance of the paper, the distance of the, of the material, and the, hush, 
and the and where your um, the distance of your phone or where your phone is in your hand. Um, you also might try putting it in one of those. Uh, they have these phone yeah. holders now. I'll put it down, and you can put the phone into the into the top, and then put the item underneath, and that may you know my hand is moving and right. stuff right. like that. So it putting it in a holder like that might make it uh, the experience just more fulfilling and might be better for the camera as well. A little bit more okay. like reading with me. The yes, pumpkin spice yes. latte has become a cultural phenomenon since it was first released in 2003. Okay. It almost never existed. Excuse me. <laughs> that wasn't. That was just a notification. I had to turn it on because my my speech is on. Um, so there you have. That is the short text um, reader of the Seeing AI. Hit or miss. But can I just tell you, folks? Remember to have the uh, screen of the phone. The, Facing up, mm. facing up. I had it facing the other way. My apologies. Ah. There you go. So <laughs> now um, we go from the. You can unplug that. So I can, yes. We go from the short text to the product. This yes. is this is this is the same um, seeing AI. Right. Um, but when you when you go to the channel, it's a picker item, and you just swipe up and down to to find out what you've got. Product is a barcode reader. Um, so let me see if I'm seeing AI menu button. Um, and so I, I brought some cans and some frozen food things. And it, what it does is read the barcode. It goes to uh, the internet and goes to the um, internet and finds the product f from the barcode. And then it'll bring you back the name of the product and sometimes directions and nutrition. So I'm going to show you that. Help button. Pause announcements button channel product adjustable. All right, so I've got some things here. Here's a box. Let's see if this will work. It will. I'm holding my phone over the box, and nothing's happening at the moment, so I'm going to turn the box around. And as, as we said, you know, it, it worked at home. Uh, <laughs> It'll work, Rick. Remember, mine eventually worked. I heard it work before for you. Here it goes. Now, it, it makes... It makes a sound... Processing. Uh -oh. Emerald 100 calorie packs natural walnuts and almonds. 7 CT. Wow. So now, now, that's the first thing. So you know what it is. Now I'm going to go to more. Button. More info. Button. More in more info. Bat more info. Emerald Emerald 100 calorie packs natural walnuts and almonds. 7 CT. Heading level 2. Emerald natural walnuts and almonds 100 calorie packs. 7 packs. Contain 740 milligram omega-3. 7. 0 0.56 ounces. 15. AG bags. Warnings allergy information. Manufactured on shared equipment. May contain other tree nuts, peanuts, wheat, soy, milk, and sesame seeds. Make it. So it gives you a lot of information in the more info, which can be very helpful. Um, I'm going to show you how it really can be helpful. Um, button. I, I have found... Back. Processing. Close. Button. So I just closed Menu. that one. Button. I have found that um, this barcode reader is by far the best barcode reader that I've had, you know, with the iPhone. Um, I've used other products that, you know, did a certain job, but um, not as good as this. So, I, um, we, my wife and I cooked some corn last night, so I rinsed out the, it was frozen. So I rinsed out the bag, and, because uh, I didn't want to bring frozen corn. Uh, <laughs> oh, but why? So we're going to try to read the barcode, because this is really good. Now I've got the, um, I have the, I don't know which side I'm dealing with, so I'm going to turn it over. And hopefully this is it. Okay, we're going to get this right. We really are. You are, Rick. So what I'm doing is, I'm moving it back and forth. Um, and I know about where it is, but I don't know what side it is. So 
So let's, oh, you know what it is? Let me just see. Menu, but quick help button, menu, but quick pause announcements, book channel, product, adjustable. Okay, we're in product. We're in the right place. So I just have to use some patience. And uh, as I said, when I'm at home in my kitchen, it works pretty darn well. Oh, yes. Uh, I know. And again, it's the, it's the rear, it's the front facing, the rear facing camera that you're using. And right now we've got absolutely nothing. <laughs> And I wanted you to see this. This was really good. It is when it works. <laughs> oh, what I liked about this is it gives you microwave directions. So let me see if I can. Processing. Not recognized. Oh. Uh -oh. Close okay. button. So we're going to do it one more time because. Menu button. We'll see if we can get it. Oh, oh, that's Processing. Okay. Bird's eye steam fresh premium oh. selects gold and white corn. Now let me show you these uh, microwave directions. We won't read them all, but I want to show it to you. Those button. Bird's share button. More info button. More in more info. Bird's eye Bird's eye steam fresh premium selects gold and white corn. Heading level two. Bird's Eye All Natural Gold and White Corn Premium Select Steam Fresh Fresh Frozen Vegetables. No preservatives. Perfectly steams in the bag. Directions keep frozen. Microwave directions. For proper food safety and quality, follow these cooking directions. Refrigerate leftovers promptly. One for microwaves with a metal rack. Please remove rack. Two place frozen, unopened bag this side up in microwave. Do not pierce or thaw bag. Three microwave on high for four to five minutes. Star during cooking, the bag will slowly inflate. A special vent in the bag will allow the steam to escape and a whistling sound may be heard. Four, let stand for one minute after cooking. Five, carefully handle bag at top corners marked with red dots and remove from microwave with... So, this is really good. Yeah. This is really good. Fabulous. Wow. And even Alex breathing. <laughs> so, so that you can get a lot of that. So, you can get either uh, instructions um, or nutritional information which some people need. And my wife has a low sodium diet. She needs to know the sodium content. Mm -hmm. And most of the time, uh, it will give you ingredients right back from the internet. So I, um, I think this is, for me, one of the more valuable um, parts of this suite of, of services. Mm -hmm. So um, now we're going to do next. What is the name of that? Seeing AI. Now, the next thing, I've got crumbs on my Braille. Um, <laughs> what does it say, Rick? <laughs> so, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it back for um, to to Lynette to do person. This oh is Lord. the th this is the third really? suite, and this is fun. Oh. This is really fun. Uh huh. Do I have a volunteer? I do three, have three someone faces. right in front of me. Zero here. faces. Oh, thank you. Zero faces. One face. Three faces. <laughs> three faces. <laughs> Four faces. Five faces. Six faces. I have plenty of volunteers, apparently. Three faces. Now, what what uh, I use this for, uh, I had, uh, well, Maria took a picture of me. Three faces. Now, for those who Zero can faces. see me, I am an African-American woman. I have short hair. I have glasses. I don't know if I had the glasses on at the time. I, I think I look fairly young. People tell me I look pretty youngish. Mm -hmm. I'm in my 50s. Oh, wow. Uh, this... Uh, <clears throat> app identified me as a Caucasian male with blonde hair, 76 years old. <laughs> Wrong. <laughs> so I would like a volunteer. Let's see what happens if we have a single person. Maybe we can try this with a single person. Who's over here? You have to come to me. Ron volunteers. <laughs> Can you, can you come down this way? Okay, thank you. Keep talking, hon. Oh, I see you coming. All right, very good. No, nope, we've got, I'm holding the volunteer. You're holding the volunteer, yeah, okay. Say hello. Could uh, you? Hello. Zero faces. Wonderful. One face, two faces. Oh, two faces, it seems. All righty. Um, now I'm hoping I'm getting. Two faces. Okay, let's see. Now, let's see if I. Do I, I don't have to take a picture, do I, Rick? Yeah, you do. Oh, okay. One fake pause announcements. Okay. One take pick two faces. Oh, here we go. Hold on. Pause announcements. Two faces. Three faces. It's passing to take a picture very quickly. So hang two on. Two faces. Take picture. Here we go. Here we go. Yes. 
Lower, lower the phone and then raise it again. Lower the phone and raise it. Okay. Now, I'm hoping you're in my sights here. Picture. Button. Okay. Take picture. Processing. 22-year-old woman with brown hair looking happy. Uh, is that true? 22-year-old... <laughs> is that close? Partially. Partially, all right. But you were looking happy, I hope. So there you have it. The whole... It, it might that part be in beta as well, Rick, you think? Yeah, it's definitely beta. Yeah. Well, I understand. Thank you very much, whoever the volunteer was. That was lovely. Thank you. Um, the, oh, well, I was going to tell you. Oh, shucks. Oh, if you take, I've been told that if you take three pictures of someone uh, and then save it and that kind of thing, at least they'll remember that oh. the person. But who has time to take three pictures? Exactly. <laughs> so there you go. So that's the person. It can be quite amusing. There you go. I, I um, had a friend of long standing who almost became an enemy. She's, <laughs> she's, she's a very young... 70-something, and well. the, the app told her she was an 89-year-old woman. <laughs> well, see, well, I guess I should be glad I was only 76 then. <laughs> so. so now I get to do scene beta. Now, scene beta is uh, an attempt uh, by using artificial intelligence uh, to actually analyze a picture and say what it is. So the best thing I could do is take a picture right from where I'm standing of this room and this crowd and see what it says. Okay? So let me... Uh... Quick app pause announcements. Channel, product, channel, pro pause and app channel, product, document. No edges visit document, product. Per one face near top, zero faces. Scene beta. All right, there's scene beta. Um, and so... I'm holding my, I, I'm not really a picture taker, but I'm holding it up as if I knew what I was doing. Um, That's it, what I do right It's now. sort of at eye level. Oh, scene beta, adjust the channel. Scene beta, take pic channel, take picture, button. Take picture, processing. A group of people sitting in a room. There you go. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Well, uh, one of them is supposed to be able to analyze people in the, and individual faces. And, and expressions and stuff. And this, this is supposed to be able to analyze pan more panoramic views. So, you know, flower gardens, mm -hmm. people sitting in a room, a close-up of a person. So it's an attempt to uh, analyze a particular scene, not a person in, necessarily. Does it also do animals, or like does it oh. do animals in the zoo? I, I tried my dog and it said cat, so it's not that good. <laughs> <laughs> so that is scene. Um, scene beta? Scene beta. It is next my job to, to do document, mm. uh, which is different from... Um, text. Let me find. I got. I have to find a document. Hold on a minute. I, oh, here it is. Um, so this is supposed to be able to read, um, you know, more of like eight and a half by eleven documents. So I'm taking this out of document out of a folder. Um, I printed it out. Uh, it was an email that I got from CCBIP. No. <laughs> oh, no, buddy. So let me, uh, could you hold this? Sure. I don't want the Braille to get in the way. Sure. I want to get my crumbs off the table here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. I got the page on the table, and now I'm going to change the channel from uh, scene beta to document. Group of people sit close button. I close the picture. Group of people sitting, close, button, 47%, Come on. 52%. There we go. Menu, button, quick help, button, take picture, button, channel, scene beta, adjust person, product. Now I'm just swiping down with one finger. So they, they call this a picker item in, uh, in um, 
voiceover? Document. There it is. I think it said Product. document. It's document. All right. Now, here's the thing I like about the, this, this uh, feature. Um, in all other OCRs that I've tried, such as Prismo Go, KNFB Reader, mm -hmm. you have to analyze the, the uh, field of view, and it tells you, and then you make an adjustment, and then you take a picture. Mm -hmm. And that can be difficult because you're holding the device and you're swiping, and it may make you move your hands. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is, uh, it tells you what your field of view is, you correct it, and then it says hold steady, and it takes a picture automatically, which to me is good. I'm not that great with, you know, my field of view business. I don't, I don't do that well with it. So I'm putting the uh, uh, device on the document as center as I can think of, and I'm going to raise it up, and we'll see what happens. Edges visible. No edges visible. That's nice. <laughs> Raise it up for us. It's visible. Okay, visible. Well, but it didn't say. Edges visible. No edges visible. Okay. Steady. Processing. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Hold O oh, L heading level one. Oh, well, we'll see what happens here. Page one of one, top of screen. What is it? Okay, good. Okay. I'm trying Here, to... Button. Come on, baby. Take picture, button. Pause announcements. Take picture, quick help, button. Menu, button. Quick, take pic, pause announcements. Channel, document, channel, document. And take picture, button. I don't know what happened to the document. No edges visible. I'll try it again, because I heard yeah, what yeah. is it, yeah, and then yeah, it disappeared. Yeah. Yeah. So I was trying to swipe down with two fingers to read it, and I guess the machine interpreted that as get rid of it. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to try it again. And you've got to hold it. Just visible. Hold steady. Testing. Back, the presence. Presence, what is it? A demo center event Thursday, September 14, 2017. CCBIP senior instructors Lynette Tatum and Rick Fox will demonstrate a wide array of object identification and text capture apps at this workshop. Among apps that will be featured are Be My Eyes, Be Speculer, Tap Tap C, Seeing Al, and Prismo Go. A plethora of objects will be set forth in front of the apps, and you'll see how each app does. How will artificial fare against human intelligence? And you, the audience, can bring an object for an app to identify and find out if it tells you. What is it? This is a free event, but reservations are required to reserve. So you can see it's pretty awesome. darn good. It's pretty darn good. Um, I really have had really good luck with this. Now, it does not have the sophisticated features that a KNFB reader has. So you can't save, you know, you can't save it, but you can. As a ride users, access a ride user, 151 East Baruch College Let's see if I can share it. button. Yeah. Share button. So you can share it. Excellent. You can share it and send it to a, you know, either email it to somebody or message it to somebody. Um, so you, so the sharing option is there. Um, so that is, and the so the next thing I want to do is compare this with Prismo Go, and I'll use the same document. Now Prismo Go, uh, you probably some of you have heard of Prismo. And Prismo Go is a new uh, voiceover friendly app that uh, is absolutely and totally free. Although you can buy um, packages, um, credits kind of you can buy credits. Yes. And if you buy a credit, it says you get better recognition. Yeah. And it's uh, because it, it sends it to the web and they say it's better that way and then it comes back. But this is built into the phone, it's free. So I'm going to take the same document, and uh, I, now some of this is based on whether you're really good at these field of view reports, and I can say that I'm not as good as some, but I will at least show you the product. So I'm going to uh, get out of this Full CNAI. Full product activity folder, eight apps, actions available. Hey Siri, open Prismo Go. P R I S M O Prismo. Mm -hmm. Yep. P R I S M O. And then plus go. Mm -hmm. Yes. Sure. I don't know what Siri's gonna know what that was. Right. It just. Be I mean, you have to do it again. 
Picture, button, heading. All right, what's this? You got something different. Image, button. Take picture, button. English, build yep. an OCR. Yeah, so we have, uh, let me just. Uh, Stabilization on, but flash on. These are the settings. I've got on. flash on. Built in, take picture, button. Here's Import picture. image, but scene description, okay. button. All right, so let me, uh, let me do the same thing I did with, with uh, AI. AI. Bring it up. And again, now I have to use, try to keep it steady, and yet I'm swiping, so. Scene description, button. Detecting text. Rotate six degree right. 26 lines of text are visible. Text coverage is 67%. Angle with gravity is three degrees. Now, 26 lines, I don't know if that's, how I don't know how many lines, but I'm gonna take a picture. Port image, button, take picture, button, heading, take picture, heading. All right, so it said heading, so let's see. Orientation locked, location tracked, G Emerald, J O zero natural, I I almonds and walnuts, G Emerald, J O zero reading voice, Alex English natural, I natural, I I almonds and walnuts, G Emerald, J O zero Saturday, set Friday <laughs> August two S, two thousand seventeen one I call in five S A M subject, what is it greater than? The Computer Center for Visually Impaired People, C C V I P at Baruch Call three E presence. What is it? A demo center event Thursday, September 14th, 2017. CCVIP senior instructors Lynette Tatum and Rick Fox will demonstrate a wide array of object identification and text capture apps at this workshop. Among apps that will be featured are DMIIs, eSpeakular, TapTapC, CAONE AI, and Prismo Go. A plethora of objects will be set forth in front of the apps, and you'll see how each app does. How will artificial fair and human intelligence? And you, the audience, can bring eight an object for an app to identify and find out if it tells you what. So I would say that it, it's not quite as good, right. but it's free, right. um, and you can uh, you can share it. There's a copy um, setting where you can copy it to the clipboard, and then you can go and paste it anywhere you want. So uh, again, it's a uh, to me it's a competitive app, and it's free. Um, so uh, I think it's out there, and it's a good tool. Uh, you saw it. It was not. It was not perhaps quite as good as the other one, but it was close. Yes. So I want to know. Uh, I think we've covered all of the seeing AI, and now Lynn and I are open for questions from the audience. Wait for the mic. The, the mic is going to come around. I'm the volunteer with the mic, so we're going to start right here in the front, and then we'll work our way back. Here you go, ma'am. Here's the mic. Thank you, ma'am. How are you? Um, you said that was the AI, the one you just showed us. Seeing that's free? AI. Huh? Yes, seeing AI is free. It's by Microsoft. Okay. See. Seeing. S E. Yep. S C. Like I'm seeing you. That's not true. Seeing AI. Yeah. And AI is for artificial yeah, intelligence. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay. E Y E S? No, AI. AI. Oh, AI. Okay. Yes. It stands for artificial intelligence. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what did you do? You put that you put that piece of paper on a phone? No, I put the piece of paper on the table. Uh -huh. And I put my phone on the piece of paper uh -huh. because you're using the back facing camera. And then I lifted the phone up about a foot off the paper. And you have to center it. You know, you try to put the camera in the center of the page. As best you can. Right, and, and, you, do, and you press the button to, to take the picture? Yeah, I, I swipe, double tap to take the picture. Now, with the seeing AI, I didn't have to do that. Remember, it just said, hold steady. Yeah. And then it took the picture automatically. That I being lazy, I would rather do that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Ma'am, did you have a question? Yes. Um, does it also read menus? It reads anything in print. Yes. Okay, and do you need light for that, or could you be in a dog or restaurant? See, seeing AI have, has the flash on by default. Right. You can turn it off in settings, but by default, it's on. Right, so then it could take a picture of the, a menu in a dog or restaurant and read it to you. Yes. Mm, that would be great. Thank you. And wait, second question. Okay. I'm sorry, now I guess a lot of it also depends on the fonts. Uh, yeah, there's all that stuff. Yes. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you. No, and it's great, it's great. Thank we okay. don't know if this app, if these apps are available. Remember, we're using the iPhones, our iPhones, 
Rick is using a seven. I'm Sorry, using an CNN, SE. An American who had been oh, fighting alongside us. Stop it. <laughs> yeah, so that we are using smartphones, the iPhone, and I'm thinking they, they probably have comparable uh, apps. At least, what do you think? Seeing AI on Android? We no. don't know. No. Okay, yeah. there you go. There you go. It's only, okay. uh, it's only the iPhone. iPhone, okay. I've got it downloaded to my iPad. I still don't own it. Wait, wait, wait. We're doing yeah. questions. So I'll be around with everybody. Okay, you both seem to be favoring the seeing AI over the last program. But considering what I've witnessed, and you both had so much trouble with seeing AI, why do you prefer that over this last one? No. I, well, I, I, there's lots of different features in seeing AI. Right. And, and when I was talking about preferring, I said that I prefer the document reader in seeing AI because I don't have to listen to the field of view report, right. make my adjustments, take the picture. I can wait until I can make my adjustments and when the seeing AI tells me that, feels that it's a good v picture, it says, Hold steady, so I don't have to take. A, I don't have to double tap and swipe. Exactly. So I find that uh, for for that reason, I prefer the document portion of seeing AI over Prismo. But uh, it's a really a matter of taste. And I've 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 listened to podcasts and people who practice and get good at it are extremely good yes. with Prismo because they're very good at knowing how to judge how to take a picture. I'm not that good at it. I'm coming around to wait, 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 ma'am. Let me skip your questions. Yes, ma'am. First, I, I'd like to know if Prism Go, how do you get that ad? A P R I S M O space P O? Correct. It's P R I Z. Well, P R I Z, I'm sorry. P R I Z. If you dictate it, though, it will come up as Prismo Go. Prismo Space Go. Okay. I want to know the camera's here, correct? Pardon me? I can't really do that. We can't really do that now. What, what is the camera? I didn't understand the question, Dale. She's asking where the camera was. Oh, top, back, right. That's where your camera is. Uh, I have a privacy question. Uh, I use, if I use one of these apps to scan the mail that came in my mailbox today, my physical mailbox, and, I, and it turns out to be some confidential financial or medical issue, uh, what do I do to make sure that that's not out there in the cloud? Honestly, you, you don't save it in any way, or you just, that's, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily. So it, the defo by, by default it does not save? I, um, I can tell you, I can um, tell you about Prismo Go. Prismo Go has a built-in OCR. Uh, Optical character recognition. So everything that happens is in your phone. It's okay. not on the cloud. Okay. If you buy uh, the credits for cloud uh, OCR, yes. it will go to the cloud. Yes. So if you save it and, and put it onto a, a place in your phone, as long as it's in your phone and you don't save it to the cloud, then you're private. Then you want you yeah, you just hit the close button. Okay. Double tap close, and you're good. It's done. It's gone. Which is located where on the screen? Top left. Top left. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, questions? Okay, excuse me. Okay, thank you. I just have uh, two comments. Uh, first of all, if you're reading menus, you may have a problem with the gloss and the glare. Secondly, with seeing AI, uh, the quick text is not in the cloud. That's done on the phone. The other uh, application. The short text, yes. The short text yes. are, is on the phone, and therefore you do not need an internet connection for that to work. But the other apps, uh, the other features, you do need internet. Uh, so that's all I have to say. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. Thank you, Bob. Thank you. Questions? Yes, yes. So does it work on the iPad as well? Is that a separate app from the iPad and the iPhone? I can't say because I haven't used it on an iPad. Yes, mm -hmm. I have it downloaded to my iPad. There you go. Thank you. Thank you. Questions? Anybody else? Are we doing the last next week? We're doing uh, tap taps today. Oh, where are you? Yes, ma'am. So if I, if I have a decision to make, okay. and as I was saying, I already have it downloaded on my iPad because I don't own a phone. 
should I like perhaps focus on AI rather than think about Prismo or three or four KPMG, whatever the heck it is, all those other ones? <laughs> well, I don't, I, don't know, I don't know what um, duplicate you want. What, I, I would say this. Um, I would start with free. Yes. Um, and the, uh, the, but your question really has to do with, you know, should I eat steak or fish? Yeah, truly. So you really need to work with uh, both of them and see which one you like. Okay, thank you. Okay, we have another question here. Um, Open tap, tap, see. in a little late, so I don't know, did you go over the channel? Um, we did. What um, that's the, um, that's the first one we did, Rick. The, the channels with the channels, the, um, Seeing AI. Yeah, we did all of the different yes. channels on Seeing AI. We started with uh, short text, and then we went to products, and then we went to uh, uh, person and scene, and then we went to documents. So we did all five. Friends, I think we actually really need to move to the next app. I'm sorry if we couldn't get everybody, but we wanted. We promised you we'd show you these different apps. So. Um, I think that was a great intro using, yes. you know, doing those, seeing AI and uh, and Prismo, and so maybe now we can we can sort of move it along to the next one. The next app is Tap Tap C. Tap Tap C used to be something you purchase on, by subscription. Mm -hmm. I know because I used to pay like nine ninety five a month for whatever it was, fifty to hundred pictures or something like that, and now it's they like to say it's gone free. <laughs> okay, so. On free. All right, so I have something in my hand. I don't know if it's going to read it. It is a CD, so we'll see how it does. We don't know what's on the other end. We think it's some sort of bot, some robot or something, um, but I don't think it's an actual human looking at this. So here we go. I am aiming, and I'm going to listen for it to, take, to tell me to take pictures. So I'm just going to swipe around. Talk about Camera, camera. There okay, there button. it is. Camera button. Camera. Thank you. Picture one in progress. Now the thing about Tap Tap C is it takes a few, uh, maybe a minute or so, depending, um, and then it should come out and say what it thinks it is. Okay. Or if, if it's a disc case. It said a disc case. Ah. Uh, this album disc case. Something album disc case. Fine. <laughs> so that's what we get with that. Um, let's see. I'm going to put some print in front of it and see. Yes, disc case. Thank you. Okay, here's my little flyer. Okay. Button. Camera. Camera. Picture two in progress. Two is Visions labeled paper. Something Visions labeled paper. <laughs> okay, so you know this. Honestly, this was one of this was one of the first recognition apps I used. Mm -hmm. And you know the great thing is it's free, and uh, you know you have nothing to lose. So I wouldn't put anything of any you know sensitivity because we don't know where it goes. Okay, so that's the truth. Right. No, uh, no. <laughs> tap, tap, see, tap, T-A-P, T-A-P, S-E-E. Uh, I would say yes. that I, I have gotten the most use out of this by trying to identify colors. Ah. And it, and it does a fairly good job of it. You mean color of your clothes? Yeah. Woo! All right, well, I have on a fairly good blouse here. <laughs> And uh, it kind of blouses out a little, so I'm going to try to aim the camera at my blouse and see if it can. Oh, that's great. Well, we'll, we'll see. Camera. Yes. Now, this is like my hand, my hand is holding my blouse and the camera's, my fi you know, I'm, I'm really working here. <laughs> I just take a picture selfie. Picture three in progress. Oh, you go, dude. Okay, picture three in progress. Picture three failed. Oh. <laughs> well, at least it was picture three failed. 
want to take a picture of my family. Or take oh, a picture of Rick's. Sure, sure, sure. sure. whatever. Whatever you, yo, oh, take a picture of Rick's, okay. Oh, there you here go. we are. Maria, and you can be next. Oh, there we go. I'm here. Uh, button. Okay. About. Camera. There we go. Button. Camera. Picture one in progress. It thinks it's picture one again, which is interesting. <laughs> Unfailed. Oh. Why is it? Do you have the internet? Do we have the internet okay here? Uh, I thought that's, that's a good question. question. Very good question. Return to Siri. Let's see. Button. Return okay. to Siri. Two yeah. of five bars. Two of five Signal bars. Okay. Yeah. So I don't know. Mm. So it doesn't like clothing. <laughs> but I use it. I use it primarily for that at home, and it. it I've had found it helpful. I, I believe it. How can it work for you? Like not for well, because these things are completely arbitrary. It'll work on one day and not on another day. It'll work on his phone and her phone and not on my phone. And then one day it'll work on my phone and, you know, and because we're standing in front of all of you. <laughs> so that's why. Closing CDI. Prismo Go. Active. Closing Prismo Go. So now... Oh, yeah, go ahead. Apple productivity folder. Eight apps. Um, you have to have a set. What, what would that be? Cellular data, right? Yes. A little bit. Yes. Yeah. So, so if you don't, much. yeah. Oh, so because it's going somewhere. Yes. Right. Yeah. You're welcome. So I think the next one is. Be my eye. Oh, be specular. Uh, be specular. Okay, excuse me. Now these these are two products that we're going to do side by side. Um, that have to do with human. Human assistants. Human what? Human assistants. Volunteers who are who are there on call uh, to help a, a visually impaired person who asks a question. Now, be specular is one which came out uh, later than be my eyes, and uh, you can either uh, text or dictate a message, or I'm sorry, record a message or type it. And um, so, since you're not interacting with an individual on an ongoing basis, because what will happen is then somebody will reply to your text or recording. Um, so, you can't sort of ask follow-up questions. I mean, you ask a question and then it, you're going to get a reply. So, I'm going to open uh, Be Specular and I'm going to ask, I'm going to take two pictures. One of my shirt, one of my pants, and I'm going to ask um, if, what the color is and if uh, the individual thinks that they look well together. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's, hey Siri, open Be Specular. B-E-S-P-E-C-U-L-A-R. B-E-S-P-E-C-U-L-A-R. P E C U L A R. Correct. Oh, thank Doctor you. Victor. Victor. Now, uh, for some reason, you'll hear the speaker is much tinnier. Um, for for some reason, this particular app messes with the audio. I'm not. When it doesn't mess with the audio on my phone directly, but when we are connected via Bluetooth to a speaker like we are now, it messes with the audio. Uh, we're we're good. We're so. What, what I'm going to do first is take a picture of the top half of my clothing, and then I'll sit down and take a picture of the bottom half. <laughs> Be, because you can take more than one picture. Yes. And being that I'm not sure exactly of what I'm, what I'm aiming at, uh, I would rather be safe than sorry. So let me, um, let me I'm now I'm stretching out my arms to get the, you know, the most... Uh, view of this shirt. Awesome. Upload picture from gallery. Take a picture. Button. Mm. Take a picture. Dimmed. Uploading picture. Please stand by. Dimmed. Button. So it's it's upload upload complete. Now double tap and hold to record your message. All right, so double it's said to record your question. Upload button. complete. But I want to take a picture of my pants too. So I'm going to sit down so I know I can point the camera down, and I'll take a picture. Menu, button, speaker, heading, 
Double tap and hold to record your question. Type your question. Take an additional picture for this request. Button. Take an additional picture for this request. Uploading picture. Please scan by. Upload. Comp Double tap and hold to record your question. Button. So, so now, uh, I think I will. Tr hope I'm going to record this question, and uh, they like you to be very polite uh, yes. and to thank the person who's helping you. Yes. So um, let's do it. Type your question. Double tap and hold to record your question. Button. Thank you very much for your assistance. I am wondering if you could tell me the color of my shirt and the color of my pants, comma, and whether you think they look well together, period. Alert. Send request. So it says send request. Yes, send. Button. Sending request. Be speaker. Menu. Button. So now it's going to send the request, and um, if I don't do anything, seven people can reply. Yes. yes. Great. The request. Waiting for replies. No, Rick. Yes. You forgot to tell the people that when this app first came out, I was at convention, but the people told us that you have to make an account with these speculators in order for the app to really work. Mm -hmm. Oh, definitely. Oh, yeah. We well, have to log in and register like yeah. any other app. Because you have to connect with the with the app, so you've got to log in. Do you have to pay for that? No, that no. app is free. No, it's free. It is free. Yes, it is. So usually, um, I get a reply within three to five minutes. Just did, I think. That we don't know if that was him though. We heard a ding, but yeah. Make a new request. But waiting for replies. It says waiting for. Yeah. Waiting for replies. Um, and uh, I've been practicing. Uh, in the last two or three days, mm -hmm. asking the same question of different outfits. Mm -hmm. So perhaps people are beginning to get annoyed with my <laughs> question. <laughs> <laughs> so um, what I was thinking is, yeah. if you know, yeah. rather than dead air, sure. Wait, you want me to um, do be my maybe you can be my do be my eyes, uh, and if I can't be your eyes, Rick, but you know, when I get <laughs> when I get a reply, I can. Yeah, you know, you'll we, pop we, up. We can alternate. Totally. Be my, and I used to use Be Specular all the time. It was my go-to app. Oh my gosh, I loved it. And I stopped because I, Be My Eyes came out, I think, before Be Specular. Mm -hmm. But Be My Eyes was very slow. Yeah. I mean, you get to know the tone that you're going to hear. Uh, <laughs> I won't do it. You, will, you should hear it. So mm -hmm. I'm going to open Be My Eyes. Yes, it is free. It only requires a username and password. I think it's an email and password, yes, and you're good. Thank you, Victor, darling. <laughs> All right, hold on. One person replied. Oh, okay. One person replied. Now, Rick, do you want to? Okay, yeah, I'll, good. I'll go ahead. <laughs> um, I guess we don't like dead One air. We don't like. One person replied. We don't like dead air around here, yeah. so. Um, that was perfect replied. timing. Button. So it says view reply. View replies. So, shirt with light blue stripes. Pants are gray and the outfit looks very good. Oh, they look very good. So let me, oh. let me, uh, I want to, I want to read this again because. Audio ducking. Speaking rate. Would that be nice? New reply. A few seconds ago. Reply by Slayton. Actions. Reply by a few seconds. What did it say? Please rate the helpfulness of this person. Oh, it's about this way. Should be anyway. yeah. A few seconds ago. There you go. Reply by Slayton. There you go. Oh, you're getting another reply. Yeah, reply. All right, we're getting lots of replies. Yeah. Please rate the help of this person's reply. Oh, yeah, How come it's not reading it? Um, do I would do there should be a next and um, previous buttons there? Okay. Be speaker. Back up. Replies. Heading. Keep going. Actions. Keep going. Reply by Stephanie. A minute ago. Okay, you should be getting them. And, unless it's a text. We don't know how they reply. So just keep swiping to the right. Please rate the help on of this per one star, keep two going. star, three star, four star, five star, previous reply. There, you dim. tried doing something. Next, so next reply, dim. Oh, Lord. Button. Your request. All right, so it's not. Double tap on the, where it says reply by so and so. Pre 
Five stars. Okay. Four, three, well, two stars. Two stars. One. Please rate the help on of this person. It's supposed to read. There's exactly. where it's supposed to read. Yeah. A minute ago. Reply by Stephanie. Try tapping. Go. Reply by Stephanie. No. Yeah. Reply by Stephanie. That's nice. A minute ago. Okay. Progress halted. Please oh. rate the help on of this person's reply. Progress halted. One star. All right. Well, you heard the reply. It yeah. said it said the color of my pants, the color of my shirt, and then it uh, it said. Uh, that whether that she thought it looked pretty good together, oh, and so I'm going to rate her, and then tell her to stop. Tell Two people stars. to stop sending Three replies. Stars. Four stars. Five stars. Why? Excellent. You don't tell Joe keep doing it. Yes, <laughs> but it said progress halted, so yeah, for we may. Four stars. Five stars. Excellent. Alert. Listen to the reply before rating it. Oh, I hate that. Okay. It doesn't allow us okay. to do that. So uh, we have a, a couple of, I'm, I'm going to try one more time and then we'll just go to Be My Eyes. Yes. But this usually works very well. It does. Um, you, know, you hardly have to swipe at all. Yeah. Things, you, can, you can hear things come up right on the phone. Um, Replies. Hey, actions. Reply by Stephanie. A minute ago. Progress halted. All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna forget this, yeah. uh, but uh, it, oh, usually, it usually it usually works extremely well, available. and we're gonna go to be my eyes yes. with uh, with Lynette. Okay, so be my eyes has gotten a lot faster. It may prove you know ma make a fool of me today, but that's okay. <laughs> Here we go. I have yes, folks. In my hand, I'm holding a VHS tape. <laughs> I am old school. I love new tech, but I got my old tech too. All right, so here we go. Be My Eyes, as I said, is an email and password. That's it. And it comes up uh, with the screen. The first available helper. Hold button. on one second. First, of, hold on. Connect to first available helper button. Connect to first available helper button. That is what I'm going to do. This is a live person uh, <laughs> on the other end, thank goodness. Double tap. Next for creating request. This is the tune you'll get to know well. Yeah, Waiting for other. Okay. It it kind of fools you when it does that, yeah, right? Does. You know, you think it's gonna someone's gonna go. Connected to other part. Hello and thank you very much. Um, I I have a a VHS uh, tape here. I was wondering if you could let me know the the name of it. 101 Dalmatians. Great. Thank you very much. That's your, <laughs> that is our audience clapping for you. Thank you. <laughs> um, can, I, can I show you one, uh, one other thing, if you don't mind? Yeah. Thank you. I have a CD here. Mm -hmm. Have I sent it fairly well? On? There's a bit of light reflecting off of there. I can't really see it. Oh, okay. If I get closer, does that help? Yeah, that's, yeah. It's okay. um, Sharon Isbin. Thank you. Baroque yeah. favorites on guitar. Baroque favorites on guitar. Thank you. Fabulous. Thank you very much. Thank you for volunteering and have a beautiful day. Is that the robot talking? No. It's a real human. Done. You can share your experience or you can just do the done button, which underneath which is underneath, excuse me. It it really cannot be simpler. It is fantastic and the wait time has been sharply reduced yep. it, and it is free okay so I try to remember to thank the volunteers you're going I have to tell you a story I'm I was leaving the apartment one day and I, I was almost a hundred percent sure of my shoes but I have you know how you have a black pair and a blue pair <laughs> and I wanted to wear the black pair so I aimed the camera and she's oh yes and I said oh my name is Lynette she said my sister's name is Lynette I said really that's great so I'm, I'm, I'm okay and I'm doing the thing okay can you see them now and, and oh we'll go down a little lower okay I said well you know what maybe I'll take you where there's more light so I went and I have a red coverlet and so I went into the room with the red coverlet and I put the shoes on the the, 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 the surface right there the couch thank you and I aimed them and I said okay, can you see them now 12, oh yeah. yes thank you <laughs> and what color are the shoes they're red I said thank you very much <laughs> the shoes were black <laughs> Another person with a vision impairment. <laughs> <laughs>
what can I tell you? They're not discriminating. Now, if anyone would like us to read a credit card, debit card? <laughs> no? All right, fine. I thought I'd ask. I have but, a question. Yes. I'm in TJ Maxx and I pick up a blouse and I want to know. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Could you hold on, the mic's coming over. Mic. Could you just wait for your questions because otherwise they're not okay. on the mic. Okay, sure, I'll wait. Okay, here you go. Oh, thank you. If let's say I'm in TJ Maxx and I'm shopping and of course I pick up two or three items and I can't meet the price tag, I can't meet the size, could be my eyes help me with the price and the size? Or yes, yes, and yes. I, what I wouldn't do is I would probably, um, you you want to have your items in a kind of a neat manner, not just kind of thrown over your arm, you know what I mean? Because then the, 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 the price of the blouse might be mixed up with the price of the skirt and this kind of thing. So you want to maybe show your items one at a time. Right, yeah, I mean, of course. Yeah, right. okay? But then, absolutely they will do that. And they'll tell you the color also, right? Oh, God, yes. Yeah, oh, my oh, sure. Great. They will tell and you everything that they can see in your camera. Yeah, you are supposed to be able to see, right? Well, pretty much. Pretty that much. we can't see, so we need them. Exactly. Oh, that's great. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, that made my day. <laughs> so that's, okay. that's really... Um, it, it will, I, I would like someone from the, if we have time, do we have time for another audience participation? Can someone give me uh, something, an item that's not too personal, or a piece of cloth, or a card? Yeah, we have time. You have time? Okay, go, awesome. Okay. Do you have a question, ma'am? Yes, the, um, Oh, I'm sorry. You take, you, after you take your, your, your 14, iPhone yes. or your smartphone yes. and put it on the, the price tag or the size of it. You, know, you don't put it on because that, be, huh? that would be too close. You just hover your camera Jim over it. Okay. Hush. Thank you. <laughs> 14 PM. Yes. Victor has asked about this card. Okay, there's a card here. Oh, oh, well, I think I recognize that one. <laughs> Let's see. Three, one, three, All right. one, three, one. Also. Hush, hush, hush. Okay, Rick, that's you messing with me. I know it. <laughs> oh, I'm getting, I'm getting, you know, notifications. Oh, that's me too. too. Okay, so here we go. I'm holding a card in my hand, and indeed, I do not know the card. So first available helper. First available helper. Creating request. I'll just put it down on the table. Waiting for up. Make up a song. <laughs> it's taking a while. <laughs> right. No one is home. <laughs> oh, here we are. We're connected. Hi. Hi. Uh, I have a card. A, a, looks like a business card. Can you read the the text on the card, please? If you hold your phone a little bit Sure, how am I doing? And good, and move a little bit to the right. Okay. Is that good? Yeah. Good. Do you just need the telephone number or do you need the, all of the text? Oh wow. Uh we can if you could start from the top, I can stop you when we're you know, when I don't need to hear any more. It says DJ Ponji, okay. DJ for parties and live sound entertainment. Mm -hmm. Telephone nine one seven. Okay, that's good. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a beautiful day. Thank you. You do have an audience. <laughs> yes, there you go. So there, there you go. Again, you can share it. Um, what does it say here? Are you sure you want to disconnect? Am I sure I want to disconnect? Yes, I am. Yes. 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 And I'm done. We hope you received the help you requested. There you go. We hope you received the help you requested. Thank you, Victor, I think this was. Yep. Thank you very much. All right. So there you go. Ask us, yes. This is a bangle. Ask just something more descriptive. Let's see what they have. Something oh, a bangle. I thought you said a mango. <laughs> That's it. Hey. Ask them to describe that. All right. I will. Bangle. Yeah. Done. It's a breeze. Button. Share your experience. I've got to do, yeah. I've got to do a done first. Report. Oh, we don't need the report. Yes, that's Connect if there's a first problem. Available okay, helper. Connect, Connect to first available. available. Connect creating request. Okay. That's a serious bangle. Waiting for other... What is that thing? I'm going to show you. Where is the bangle? There's a lot of details. So I want to find it. Okay. Are you able to put the speaker or whatever I can speak so people can hear the answer? She should. The microphone. I don't know. I think
thinks they're hearing it, I think. But I don't know. It is softer. It is, right? Yeah, pretty okay. soft. Oh, I think we're connected, but it didn't say. Hello? Hey, just give me just a second. Certainly. Well, thank you very much, by the way. A little cough. He needs a cough button. <laughs> Hey, this is Craig. Sorry about this. Craig, no problem. I, I thank you very much for being there. Yeah, no worries. I have a bangle or bracelet in my hand. Can you describe it for me? The color or anything? Am I holding it? Can you see it at all? Um, move it up just a little. How's that? I mean, um, maybe I should say forward. That there? It, right, yeah, there we go. Uh, it looks sort of silverish on in the inside. The outside is dark like black. It's got kind of an opaque white green uh, ovals. Mm, there kind you of go. turtle looking because they're segmented ovals. Ah. That... Beautiful, actually. Thank you. <laughs> I've been looking for that. <laughs> it doesn't belong to me, but, I, but the person is hearing. <laughs> Thank you so much for volunteering. Uh, you're very welcome. Thank take, take care. Take care. You have an audience. <laughs> there you go. That was very detailed. Thank you. You're so welcome. Yes. Could you answer? Are you? Are um? Are we ready for? We are down for questions, right, Rick? Right. Yes. Good. Okay. The lady next to me asked me. Okay, I'm going to get her the microphone. Wait, wait, I'm going to get her in the microphone. Ask I'm just curious where these people are that are answering. I'm not kidding you when I say all over the world. <laughs> I mean, I have had people from Japan, people from Bangladesh, people from England, people from Scotland, people from Mexico. I had a wonderful conversation with someone from Mexico. <laughs> so, um, how do you know? How do I know they're wonderful? Because she no, was. I mean, I know where they're from. <laughs> oh, they'll tell they're you sometimes. Accents. Sometimes they'll ask me, and I'll say New York. <laughs> you know, so. And they will speak English. They do. Now some, you know, some they have a little bit of an accent, but okay. for the most part, you can, you can. I've been able to understand everybody. Wow, thank you. So you're welcome. Okay. Questions? Other questions? Yeah. Okay, hold on. I will start right here with Bob. Here's the mic. Are you sure that tap tap C is now done automatically because it used to be done by a live person? I'm not sure. Okay, because uh, that's that's important I because that's then you don't then be careful what you take a picture of because you don't want. Oh, well, I would anyway. I would anyway just because it's going where I don't know. Yeah, very good. Okay, questions? Yes, ma'am. I'm ready. I I just want to know. I know that. Uh, the first one was Be My Eyes, and what was the other one called? Be Specular. Be specular. Could, you, could you spell that again? B-E-S-P-E-C-U-L-A-R. One more time, please. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Okay. Um, okay. I'll spell it for you in a bit. I would just make yes. a recommendation that to all of us who are sitting here and we are witnessing be My Eyes work, that we each go out to our Facebook social media people and encourage our sighted friends, family to subscribe oh, to go. this service because nice. that's only going to help us even more and anyone else who's across mm -hmm. the world like us who could use the assistance. So let's be proactive and let's go out on social media and say, hey people, sign up for this awesome Well, <laughs> I'm with you. Thank you. Yeah, totally. these devices, do they actually take photographs and somebody on the other end is telling you, tell the person to stand a little to the left or the right or bigger or smaller? That's a live thing. There are no, to my, this, there's no photo being taken in Be My Eyes. Okay. They're just seeing basically what your camera is seeing. Right. Okay. Because I know I was with uh, Chansey over at the library. Mm -hmm. She was busy taking the photographs of the person in the room. All of a sudden it I said, mm -hmm. what? earplugs in my ears and the, and the, the device in my hand and a guy starts to take that. That was Ira. The, uh, yeah. That was Ira. We'll talk about that in another demo. We What's will. Yes. yes. The, the eye of Ra. Yes. 
Other um, questions? Uh, yeah. Oh, hold on. There was one, one in front or two. Uh, okay. Uh, can I just add a little bit of humor here? Sure. sure. Uh, you know uh, the, sto the Marlena story? No. Okay. Uh, this woman was uh, about to take a shower, and she was very careful. Oh, well. And she aimed the picture, the camera toward the shampoo, and she said, no, she was very careful. And she goes, would you please identify this bottle? And the message came back and identified the bottle correctly, and Todd said, Oh, incidentally, you're standing in front of a mirror. Yes. <laughs> surprise, surprise. <laughs> well, folks, okay. be careful. Thank you. Okay, I'll come to you for your question. Uh, Would it uh, be my eye help you at nighttime when you're walking in the street? What, what was the question? I'm asking a question. You know, sometimes we have problems, you know, in the street. And we have to go somewhere, and you take a picture of. I guess, I guess you take the camera and put it on what? That's the, I don't know that. Um, okay, uh, kind of, you can take, you know, everything with caution, right? Yes. So if you need to find something, uh, you're, and you're street. walking, like yes, you're walking like an address or something, mm -hmm. be very careful if you're using a cane, stop, pan the camera, and then, you know, and then stop and find out if you, you know, do your be my eyes then. You know what I mean? So if you're doing be my eyes, always use caution with these things. And someone did did mention, and that will be another demo center when both Rick and I will have the Ira device. So, oh, sorry. Um, uh, there's a, when you when you set when you sign up for Be My Eyes, they are very explicit in in telling you to make sure that when you take a picture, that you don't have private things, mm -hmm. uh, you in know, view. in view. So you want to make sure that it's not only the mirror, but your bank <laughs> statement or anything else. Yeah. Visa. Thank you. Is there any app to help you find direction? I think that's what um, Madeline was trying to ask. Well, well, we'll talk about that with Ira. Yes. Oh, that's another, oh, yes. That's next time. Because yeah. if you have to stop and go and stop and go, none of these apps will really do it for you. You need right. something that's constant, okay. and that's okay. what so that's Ira does. App. Yeah. Thank you. Um, we know the name of the app? Which one, hun? That's Ira, A I R A. And it ain't free. No, it ain't. No, nope, you gotta pay for <laughs> no. uh, Be Specular and Be um, My Eyes. Be My Eyes. I use both of those simultaneously sometimes. So. There you go. If anybody wants them, you can come bug me there, I'll send them to you. Look oh, at that. Right. The good news. Uh, we like... have another question. Just to have loose. I, 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 A A I. A I R I. A I R A. Um, yes. I have a question. Some people have said, I don't know, I'd like to know if anybody in the room had this experience. Yes. If they use seeing AI on the short text, and if they're outside, it will read signs. Has anybody had that experience? I have not used it. It's too. It's been too inconsistent for me to do that. I would have to know where the sign is. But if 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 you're talking about a sign that's on, you know, a person who's below five feet, then I can drive <laughs> <laughs> under five feet. <laughs> Any other questions? No. Very good. Very good. Very good. <laughs> Glad you enjoyed it. That's it, right? Yes. Is that it, Rick? That's, that's it. it. That's it. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Thank you. So, friends, let me just say quickly, obviously, yes, let's do it once more for Rick and Lynette. Yes. Now, I just do want to mention briefly that, you know, training people to use these apps and to use phones and, in fact, to use, even if you need to learn things on your computer, if you're old school, no, sorry, just kidding. Um, so figure. That is what CCVIP specializes in. So you can call our main number and ask about arranging for that if you would like to learn um, more. And so that is the biggest thing I want to say. Make sure you're aware of that. And uh, we do also have an event coming up on October 26th. You can go to our website and find out more about that. And then 
beware because watch your mail or your email because you will be getting notices about our event in December, which will be focusing exclusively, I think, right? right. Well, it will be focusing on this very interesting um, app plus, I would almost call it, called Ira. Yes. Okay? So yeah. thank you all very much. We appreciate your being here. Thank Take care. You. Take care. This Demo Center video was brought to you by CC VIP. Thank you for watching.